and welcome back to Goonies Kitchen and if you are new here then hello and welcome. My name is Alexis and today I want to share with you how to make my delicious homemade hummus from scratch. As I just mentioned today I want to share with you how to make my yummy homemade hummus from scratch. So this recipe is really easy to do um, and it doesn't take as long as you think it would. There are quite a lot of parts to this recipe but it is really simple once you get to the end of it and it does make a delicious snack and it can also be used as part of a main meal as well so you could have this for lunch or dinner as well. I normally like to have this with chips on a Saturday afternoon for my lunch. I think of it as a little treat meal for myself. So I'm going to be making this as part of our dinner this evening. We're having homemade falafel and that video went up on Tuesday. So if you want to see that then please go to Googie's Kitchen to watch that video. I will try to link it to this one. But for now, while I was making the hummus, I thought I'd share the recipe with you. So here is how to make my delicious homemade hummus from scratch. So the first thing I did was to grab my dried chickpeas and I put these into a bowl and I poured water on them and I stored them in the fridge overnight so I left them to soak overnight. I'm using dried chickpeas because I've actually discovered in recent months that these are actually better for the body. Um, although they take longer to cook and it is a longer process using them, they are a lot better than the tin variety um, and also they're a lot cheaper as well. So once you have soaked them, I then drain them and then I put them into boiling water on the hob and I made sure that the pan had a lot of water in them so they had a lot of room to move. If they're all bumping around on each other, they don't tend to cook as well. So you have to use a lot of water and a large saucepan. So once I've done that, I then drain them and then I brought them to the side and I left them to cool for a little while and then I peeled each one individually. This is a bit of a faff, I have to say, but it does make the hummus really smooth and creamy. Honestly, it makes such a delicious hummus. It makes a big difference to me. If you don't want to do that, then that's fine. And also, if you don't want to use dried chickpeas and you just want to use um, tinned then that's okay too and then once I've done that I've now brought them here and what I'm going to do is I'm going to put these into my food processor like so and then I've got to get a tablespoon I won't be a minute and then I'm going to put two tablespoons of tahini in with the chickpeas and the tahini acts like a binding agent. Um, if you can't get tahini, then you could use almond butter as well. Almond butter is a great alternative. And then I've got 100 mils of olive oil. Now I'm using 100 mils because I'm using slightly under the amount of the recipe because I'm a bit afraid we won't eat it all in time before it goes off. So I think I've got about 160 grams of chickpeas, but in the original recipe, I think I said about 200 grams of dried chickpeas. So I've got a little bit under the recommended amount in my recipe, and that was 120 mils. So I'm just gonna pour the olive oil all over the top now as well. And then I'm going to add a pinch of salt to that too. So a couple of pinches of salt. And I've got some water here as well. So I've got about 50 mils of water. And I find this helps to soften it. The olive oil is great for softening it as well, but the water just lets it soften that bit more. And then I've got a couple of teaspoons of garlic granules as well that I'm going to add in. So I'm just going to judge that because I haven't got a teaspoon. And I can't want to go and find one. And finally, you are meant to use a lemon for this recipe, but I haven't got any lemons. I've only got limes at the moment. So I'm going to put some lime in it. I'm sure it will taste just as delicious with lime. So I'm just going to put a squeeze of lime in it as well. And this just gives it a nice flavour, really. 
Um, and you can add anything you want to to this hummus as well. I have done quite a few recipes where I've added other ingredients. So I've added beetroot and I've added roasted tomatoes as well. That's a nice one. And coriander and cumin are really great in hummus as well. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to blend these ingredients together. So I've blended this until it is smooth. And now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to empty it into the bowl, like so. And I'm sure that we are all going to enjoy this for our dinner this evening if I don't spill half of it over the side. So, there is our hummus. That's how you make my delicious homemade hummus from scratch and that recipe I will link in the description box below for you. As I mentioned earlier I'm off to enjoy this with my homemade falafel this evening so I'm really looking forward to it. The hummus is delicious I have just tried a bit and it was really nice. So for now, that's it from me. Thank you so much for watching. Please feel free to give me a big thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. And please feel free to leave any comments below. And please don't forget to hit that subscribe button. See you all soon. Bye.